it feel like if you woke up every day and took advantage of each and every opportunity in your life fearlessly? The, the truth is I have from the very beginning listened to my instinct. All of my best decisions in life have come because I was attuned to what really felt like the next right move for me. What if, for example, we embraced failure and loved it and believed failure was awesome because inside of failure we grow? Every single person, except my best friend Gail, said you're going to fail. Every single person when I left, they, my bosses by this time thought I was terrific and said, you're going to, you're, you're, you're walking into a landmine, you're going to fail, you're going to fail. If I fail, then I will find out what is the next thing for me, what is the next right. true thing for me. If we want to give all of our children a foundation for their dreams and opportunities worthy of their promise, if, if we want to give them that sense of limitless possibility, that belief that here in America, there is always something better out there if you're willing to work for it, then we must work like never before. You have to be willing to walk alone sometimes. You have to be willing to be the only person for a moment. And that moment might be a minute, it might be a month, it might be a year, it might be 10 years. You have to be willing to be the only person that sees your vision. It's not about having obstacles because everyone has obstacles. The key is simple. Acknowledge the obstacles. Don't give them power. What we do matters. How we do it matters. And therefore, we have to take responsibility for everything that's going on in our life. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know the crazy people set you up, but it was a divine setup to give you what you needed in order to grow beyond where you were. Maya Angelou says, I wouldn't take nothing for my journey now. I wouldn't take nothing for my journey now. Because without those downs, without those hard days, I don't think we'd truly appreciate the ups and the great days.